What's up everybody, this is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media and today I wanna to talk to you about how you should be advertising through the coronavirus uh, scare. So I am, uh, I live down here in downtown Chicago and it's probably about, I don't know, about 5.15, 5.30. This is like the busy time, this is rush hour and you can see like that street right there is just like empty. Normally that's bumper to bumper uh, this time of day and a lot of people working from home, especially in Chicago, uh, people come in from the suburbs uh, to work quite a bit. We've had a few cases uh, for a while. Like I think it was the first US case might have been uh, found in Chicago or the second. So um, I think people have been kind of uh, mitigating uh, as much as they can over the last couple of weeks, but it's just kind of eerie that it's, it's this, uh, this calm right now. So I wanted to talk, I've had a couple people reach out to me, ask you know, how I'm thinking about marketing and advertising uh, during the Corona stuff. And my biggest thing, you know, for me, if you follow me at all, you know that I'm all about content marketing. So now is the time to be putting out positive messages, uh, you know, whether it's about Corona or whether it's about, you know, other things that you can help with in your practice. Uh, it doesn't always have, it doesn't have to be completely immunity based. It could be just about, you know, healthy living and because uh, we know that the healthier you are, the uh, the probably least likely that you are to get sick. And then if you do get sick, the, the less the symptoms are going to be. So <clears throat> content marketing, no matter what's going on, is always going to be your best bet. Especially video marketing, you know, more people are probably going to be home right now. They're going to be on social media more. They're going to be have, they have more time to watch videos. Um, so I would, I would be pushing that content out, trying to stay in front of people, trying to deliver positive messages, whatever that, uh, whatever you think is, is the best for that. Um, but in terms of like paid traffic, uh, when, when it comes to advertising and trying to attract leads, you know, until, uh, unless you're in, you know, New Rochelle or, uh, you know, near the, the nursing home and near Seattle, you know, most people are, are probably going about their, their normal uh, daily lives with a few exceptions, you know, maybe they're working more from home. Uh, they're not going, you know, they're not, there aren't as many opportunities to go out into big crowds, but I still think people are, you know, going to Starbucks and uh, going to the chiropractor and going to the grocery store. Um, and so I, I, un until things in your area get shut down, shut down, I'd still be running, uh, ads. I'd still be trying to get people to opt in. Um, you know, if things, if it's like basically like if it becomes like Italy where they shut everything down other than the pharmacies and the, and the food markets, um, then you, you can maybe make a decision whether you want to pull the, the Facebook ads until things open back up. Uh, but your Google ads, for example, um, I'd probably leave those, leave those running. You know, I don't, I don't really see a reason to get, get rid of those because if somebody is searching for the things that you want to show up for on Google, um, and they click on it, you know, just be available, like answer the phones, have the phones forwarded. If you're at home, have them forwarded to your cell phone, uh, be able to text message with people, you know, stay in communication because it's not gonna last forever. Uh, people that are, that are in pain are still gonna be looking for things. They're gonna still gonna be looking for people that can, that can help them out. Um, so whether you're open or not, I'd, I'd let those run. Now, if you're running, uh, you know, day one new patient specials on Facebook, um, and you, you, no one can come into your office and you, no one can leave their house, you know, that probably isn't going to be, uh, the best use of your money until you know what's happening. So maybe double down on, on some of the Google ad stuff. Cause with Google, uh, you know, you only pay for the click with Facebook, you're paying for the impressions. So you could be getting a lot of impressions out there, but if people are like, I'm not leaving my house, they're not going to be opting in. So your lead costs are going to go through the roof. Uh, with Google, they have to actually look for you and then click on you to, to find you. So. Um, this is also an opportunity to, uh, you know, if you, if you do have to close down for whatever reason, uh, this is an opportunity to focus on some of the things that maybe you haven't been doing. This could be a great time to be batching content. You could be, you could go into your office and create as much content as you need. You know, a lot of people always complain they don't have time to do it. You know, if you don't have any patients coming in, uh, that's a perfect opportunity for you to be creating content. Other thing, update your website. Take time to relook at your website. Look at it with a fresh set of eyes. Look at it as somebody who's a potential new patient, who's never heard of you before, and does your does your messaging uh, really follow through uh, on onto your website? Do the things that you're saying in your office are they translated onto the site? Um, if you haven't read the book Story Brand, 
also a great time to be reading Story Brand. And, uh, and the last thing is, is you know, if, if you're gonna keep working with your staff, just because you're not in there seeing patients, doesn't mean that you can't be working with your staff on answering phones, how to handle things, how to get out into the community, how to be doing, uh, how to successfully do lunch and learns. There's a lot of opportunities to be doing marketing training, maybe try out some new things, or at least train on some new things that you, you, you've been thinking about doing, but you just never have time to work with on your team. So. The people that stay aggressive, the people that keep marketing, even through uh, you know an emergency like this, people that keep getting their message out there and staying out there and adding value, especially if you can add contextual value to what's going on right now, uh, those people are going to win. There's going to be a lot of pullback on the on the advertising that gets done over the next um, you know probably 72 hours, but even over the next couple of weeks and couple of months. Um, there's going to be some businesses that don't don't come out on the other side of it uh, that well. So if you can if you can keep your powder dry and you've got the money to spend, you know when we come outside of this, there's going to be a lot of people that are stressed out. There's going to be a lot of people that are cooped up that haven't been moving around. They're going to need your help. So have a strategy uh, for when we get onto the other side of that, whatever that looks like. Hopefully this this passes and uh, you know and it's it's not as serious as is they're making it out to seem and hopefully things work out great. If they don't, you know, you can't control what happens outside of you. All you can control is what, how you're reacting to it. And when it comes to your advertising, make sure that you have a plan for not only through the problem, but also on the other end of it, what's that gonna look like? So uh, everybody, I hope you guys stay safe, hope you stay healthy, hope your businesses stay healthy. And um, if you need any help, let me know. We'll see you on the next one.